I don't believe there's such a thing as free will in the sense of a, uh, a ghost in the machine, uh, a spirit or soul that somehow reads the, the TV screen of the senses and pushes buttons and pulls levers of behavior. Uh, there's no sense that we can make uh, of that. Uh, I, I think we are, our behavior is the product of physical processes in the brain. On the other hand, when you have a brain that consists of 100 billion neurons connected by 100 trillion synapses, there is a vast amount of complexity that means that human choices will not be predictable in any simple way from the stimuli that have uh, impinged on it beforehand. We also know that that brain is set up so that there are at least two kinds of behavior. There's what happens when I shine a light in your eye and your, your iris contracts, or I hit your knee with a hammer and uh, your, your, your leg jerks upward. We also know that there's a part of the brain that does things like choose what to have for dinner, whether order chocolate or vanilla ice cream, uh, how to move the next chess piece, uh, whether to pick up the paper or put it down, uh, that is very different from your iris closing when I shine a light in your, your eye. This, that second kind of behavior, one that engages vast amounts of the brain, particularly the frontal lobes, that incorporates an enormous amount of information in the causation of the behavior, that has some mental model of the world that can predict the consequences of possible behavior and select them on the basis of those consequences. All of those, th those things carve out the realm of behavior that we call free will, which it is useful to distinguish from brute involuntary reflexes, but which doesn't necessarily have to involve some mysterious soul.